Hello beautiful people, welcome to my vlog. Last night was the last night we had on the beach. Um, rainy season has arrived to Panama, um, which means a lot of tarantula rains. Um, and the way to the beach is basically downhill, which means the entry to the beach becomes this slide of mud. Luckily the owners of the festival have a, a farm, which is quite cute. They have here chickens and and uh, ducks and the dogs are here and cats I'm having a bit of a problem since I'm vegetarian since I was eight and the animals well not the dogs and the cats uh, but the pigs and the, and the ducks and the chickens are mainly here to, well, be consumed. And a um, couple of times in here they, they killed a few to eat them, so uh, having a bit of a problem with that. Um, but that's my, my moral issues. I don't eat it, it's they eat it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Rainy season, definitely. This is the environment that I currently live in. Good morning, Eric. I have a room now uh, with a meat. Uh, it's beautiful in here. I don't know if you can see behind me, uh, but it's really beautiful. There's a little river that leads all the way to the sea of in the beach where we were. I slept yesterday on one of the wooden boards that um, is under our water taps and banged my toenail and the toenail came out of her uh, place. We had now a bit of a drama. The European Union decided to create a humanitarian flight. Only U European citizens were able to apply for it. The price is 450 euros, which is quite a bargain. But not everybody that applied for it had a room on the flight. So it means that we have half of the people that applied for it are about to leave. Some of them already had their salvo conductas processed before because they wanted to move to hostels and different houses uh, that they were able to find and they were waiting for about two weeks for their salvo conductas. The ones that got their flight, the salvo conductas got processed before and we have here some of the people that didn't get the flight and didn't get their salvo conductas processed. So uh, not an easy morning because uh, five people are leaving today uh, we have a few that are about to leave towards the end of the week and um, a few people only leave on Monday even though they're waiting for two weeks for the salvo conductas. So a bit of heavy on emotions. In the meantime, uh, I'm, I've collected lists of all the Israelis that are stuck in Panama and want to go back to Israel. At the moment I have 80 people on the list as of last night, maybe 90, I think 80 people for sure. And um, a lot of them are families, so a lot of them are kids. Um, old couple that um, are run out of their medications. I'm. I'm hoping to get a flight in a reasonable price that people can pay because after a month more than people planned and uh, needed to survive in Panama, people are a bit of problems with budgets, um, but hopefully we're gonna get them, get all of us home and uh, yeah, not leaving anyone behind. On the positive side of things, because I'm not the type of people that will that is able to only talk about the negatives. I don't like it. We had last week ice cream, lollipops in here. So 
that was a fine point for all of us. The highlight of my week, we got ice creams now in here. And oh, it's dripping on me, so <laughs> wait. <laughs> and I did for the first time in my life fire poise. I usually do lead poise, but I tried fire poise and I quite like it. It was it was really fun. Um yeah, that that's my positive side of things. Um and because so many people are leaving, we keep having <laughs> goodbye parties. So that, yeah, we have a, every night a goodbye party because people don't know if they will get the salvo conductor, so they won't get the salvo conductor. Yeah, I'm like overdosed on goodbye parties and a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. But I like my new room. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool as well. And I have ducks around and animals and it's beautiful in here. And yeah, I think someone needs me for a question. So that's the end of my vlog for today. See you on the next vlog.